Okay, this video is going to be for suppositories using the direct displacement method. So for this lab, we are going to need our suppository mold. In this case, we're using aluminum mold. We will need safety glasses because there is a splash potential. We do need our drug. We're using enomethacin, and we need our suppository base. We're using a fatty base or an SPG base here. You also need a glass beaker and a stir rod. The smaller the beaker, the less waste you will have, and you also need a metal spatula. Make sure it is metal. Our hot plate is another item we will need. Some hot plates have two knobs. One knob is for heat. One knob is for the stirrer. We only need the heat. The calibration on those is not accurate, so don't use them. Your instructor will tell you the temperature to use. Next, you're going to be weighing out the amount of base we need to fill at least three suppositories. We're looking to find the empty weight, or I should say the blank weight of a suppository. So in order to do that, we're going to assume about two grams per suppository and we need three <clears throat> plus one extra. So we're going to weigh eight grams, roughly eight grams. We're going to put it in a beaker, put it on our hot plate, let that melt. Occasionally check it out. Might have to mix it around. When it's completely melted, don't over scorch it. Just when the last piece is just about to uh, melt, you can take it off the hot plate. We are next going to set up our suppository mold. So this one's here, I have wing nuts on them. We do need to take those apart carefully. Watch out, don't drop those. They're very easy to lose. We are going to open it up, make sure it's clean. It must be clean and we also could lubricate them. If we're gonna lubricate them, a lot of times we might use mineral oil or even glycerin to lubricate them, but make sure they are clean or the suppositories will not pop out easily at the end. Once that's done, you're gonna line them up. You wanna make sure that everything is lined appropriately and that you did put the wing nuts on tight. You don't want to over tighten it, but tight enough so that you won't get leakage out of the mold when you fill it. You will need one piece of paper towel. You're going to put it on the bottom where it's going to be very messy and we're going to have spills. So make sure you have something underneath it. Next, you're going to take your still melted base <clears throat> and it's going to take a long time to solidify. So it's not a problem how long it takes us to assemble. We're going to pour it into the first well and we're going to continue to pour it into the second well and we want to continue to pour it in the third well. And then we're going to over pour it. So we're almost making a mess on top. And anything extra we can put into the fourth one, the fourth one probably won't get filled all the way. But we do want to make sure that we have that excess on top because we'll get contraction. And that's something we need to worry about if we just fill them up right to the very edge of where they are. <clears throat> so we're going to overfill them like we have here. Right so now is a good time to actually clean out the... Beaker, if you do it when it's cold, that base will be very difficult to clean. So clean it out because we are going to use this beaker again. Once that beaker is clean, we have three suppository wells filled. We are going to be sitting here waiting. So we're going to be waiting for a while for this to solidify. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the torsion balance, which we have the video for in your pre-lab, and we're going to weigh out our drug using the torsion balance. It is, in this case, <clears throat> leveled. I am going to now, once it's all set up, I'm going to dial in the number. In my case, 200 milligrams of drug. Notice one is for grains, one is for grams. I'm going to unlock the torsion balance. And when I do that, because I put 200 milligrams on the dial, one side is going to fall down. That's the right side. That's the side for the weights. Our product is going to go on the left. Before we measure out our drug, I'm going to put a little bit of drug, about double what I need. So it's about 800 milligrams into a glass mortar pestle. I'm going to triturate it. I want to triturate it because when I put it into my suppository base, I want it to disperse nice and evenly. So now that I've got that triturated drug, I, that is what I'm going to weigh out. I didn't want to weigh it first and then triturate it because I get a little bit more loss. Okay, and I'm carefully getting that last amount and then I am done. I'm going to look back at my suppositories. They are completely solidified, so now I need to trim them. So I'm going to get a metal spatula. I'm going to clean it very well. It's important to make sure it's clean. I'm going to carefully put it, oops, don't drop it like that, but I carefully put it on the hot plate for a few seconds, like about three to five seconds on both sides. And then you're going to use that like a hot spatula. And we are not scraping the top of the suppository. We are melting the top of the suppositories down. So you're not going to scrape it because that'll lift them out. You just want to melt it like it's butter. So I've got a hot spatula. I'm just rubbing it down the top, back and forth. I'm pushing that excess base off of the top. I'm not scraping and melting it off. And now I have them nice and flat and flush. I'm going to allow those to cool. So this was time lapsed here. Now that they're cool, I'm going to pop those out of the suppository mold and I'm going to pop them out. 
Again, I only need to pop out the three. That fourth one is just the extra one that I had access in. I'm going to take those suppositories, the three full ones, and I'm going to weigh them. I'm going to get the average weight of one blank suppository. Once I've got the average weight of one blank suppository, I'm going to go ahead and perform my calculations for how much base I need to make six plus two suppositories. That's eight. So once I know how much base I need, I'm going to melt all those suppositories back again, and I'm going to add more base that I need. Once I have enough base, I'm going to put that into my beaker and put it on the hot plate, let it melt. Once that beaker is filled with the amount of base I need, I'm going to get my mold again. I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to make sure that I do reassemble it again. And if I do need to put any lubricant on there, I can go ahead and do that now. This is a fatty base, so we usually don't use that much lubricant as long as a mold has completely solidified. So the base inside has solidified completely. It'll pop out very easily from these suppository bases. If you don't let it solidify, you're going to have a big problem getting them out. So we're going to put it on top of a paper towel again. We have our base that's melted. I'm going to incorporate my drug. Again, here I'm incorporating a little bit, and I want to make sure that I do not have any pieces of really big chunky powder in there. Now in Fort Lauderdale, we're going to use a blue colored powder so you can really see the particles, but you might have ones that are just white. But you want a uniform looking suspension, which is almost what I have here. You're going to see no big particles floating around. The drug is completely dispersed in there. And again, I'm going to do the same process. This time I'm filling six wells of the suppository mold. So I'm just going to continue filling them. If I do need to stop and ever stir, you can go ahead, but just one continuous motion from one to another and make sure you over pour them. That's important that we have an over poured mess on top. We're going to let those solidify, but in the meantime, we're going to clean out that beaker because again, it'll be easier to clean out now than it will be afterwards. Once my suppository mold is solidified slightly, I'm going to take my spatula again. I'm going to trim the top of that, putting it on the hot plate. Be very careful with this point, but we're going to be going back and forth melting that excess right to the very top of that mold. Again, the excess is just falling off or it can even fall into an empty well. That's fine, but we want six beautiful suppositories. Once we have that and it's cooled, make sure it's completely cooled. And then we can go ahead and start to pop out our suppositories. So once we pop out our suppositories, we are looking to make sure that they are nice and uniform. In our case, these are very light colored blue. You'll see from here in the little close up that it's a nice uniform blue color. They look nice. They look uniform. What we're not looking for is a suppository that would come out of the mold that looks like this one, which is all the blue particles at the bottom, right? That's not a uniform looking suppository. So once we have our beautiful suppositories, we're going to weigh them. We're going to get the average weight now of our medicated suppository, which is what we should know as a theoretical weight because we kept it all the same. And once we have that, we are done with our compounding procedures. Now, in real life, if you wanted to dispense these, some people will dispense them by wrapping them. So you could wrap them. Here's an aluminum foil, which is a suppository wrapper. They would go in, get twisted down, or should say rolled down, almost like good old Tootsie Roll Pops used to be back in the day. And then you twist the sides on one, and you twist the opposite way on the other side, and then you have a nice little wrapped suppository ready for dispensing.